purpose of this uh, short uh, video um, is again to have a look at the str one engine and what happens when we uh, use uh, excitation uh, from BCM oscillator. So we use some uh, audio samples um, to excite the string. In this case, um, we go for something not so um, ethereal and pad-like, um, atmospheric, uh, like we did in the in the previous video, um, and uh, we thought to have a look at what happens if we are using drum samples. And that's again not something that, uh, well, uh, by default one would think to uh, to use for a, a plug string model, but in this case we're gonna uh, completely. Uh, ignore the actual plucking and uh, in the excitation mixer first of all um, we can have a look that we are not using anything from the noise generator we are not using the plucking so the levels are set to zero and we are only and only using the BCM oscillator at a quite sort of hefty uh, level and there we selected a nasty snare drum um, and of course, you can use other samples and, and listen to what uh, uh, happens. So if we uh, first look at just that uh, snare drum, then this is what it sounds like, and it will be as we expect. A snare drum. So nothing unusual there. Now, if we put back the the amounts for the uh, pickups and the string, uh, we will be able to have a listen to what the SDR1 engine does when just the snare drum sample is exciting the string. And with a quick look at the string parameters, we basically have nothing terribly esoteric, so we have an excitation position um, set for some harmonics that we can actually change uh, with the, the vector joystick and uh, we have a, a little bit of non-linearity no pressure at all on the uh, on the pressure parameter um, as we see and again the non-linearity will be changed with the vector joystick in the damping and the dispersion we will have a little bit of damping and the dispersion is set to a, a quite generous amount um, and again we can change that uh, we can tone it down a bit by uh, using the vector joystick and we are not using any uh, feedback basically we have two pickups at a close-ish position relative to each other and we feed in mostly the, the string and the two pickups uh, and actually the pickup two I set it to a phase inversion because things will happen when the two signals are subbed together um, and we can change the balance between the string and the two pickups uh, with, again, the vector joystick. And what we get, for the last time to have a look, that we really, really are not cheating, so there's only a snare drum sample uh, doing everything here, and from the string model, this is what we're going to get. So you get a rich harpsichord-like sound with an extra sort of sustained uh, part. And we showed that well, there are a, a bunch of parameters that um, we attached to the vector joystick in, in various um, positions so that we will be able to actually uh, play with it a little bit. And uh, this is what we get. So we changed the non-linearity, we changed the balance between the string and the pickup, uh, the two pickup um, signals, we changed uh, things in the dispersion amount, and we really moved that sound uh, around. So um, again, 
if there is a message to this short um, video, then uh, it is basically feel free, very free to experiment with str one and enjoy uh, the result, uh, which can be quite counterintuitive sometimes and highly uh, usable.